Hey, what's up, street blogs? This is Eric Kim from the Eric Kim Street Photography Talk. So, it's like uh, 10.30 in Saigon right now. I'm pretty tired, but I really wanted to do this Street Club Week 4 uh, review video. So the assignment was subtract, 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 aka simplify. And the reason why we wanted this project is because it gives you a chance to really understand what's the most important thing in the scene that you're trying to photograph and purely from a philosophical level i think the point of photography is to subtract the superfluous and to highlight what you find is the most important and just basic uh, announcement so we're all really juiced to see all the great action in the air can form we only have two more weeks of street club left and we actually have some exciting new surprises. So the first prize is gonna be the Vitruvian Camera Eric Kim shirt. And it's pretty damn cool. It's uh, my, my younger sister, Annette, actually designed the whole thing herself, uh, purely from scratch. So channel your inner Leonardo da Vinci when you're shooting. And also a haptic box press set. Let's see, there we can. And uh, the next upcomer, and then we're going to give away the Vitruvian camera for the, the photo we like the best. And then we're going to give away a haptic press box set to stay for you to stay inspired after the whole assignment is done. It includes photo journal, film notes, and street notes. And that's going to be to people who've given best critiques. So I'm going to take a look at you guys' uh, photos. And just an example, like, you know, often when you're shooting street photography, you see the scene, taking a step closer and working the scene, and then just keep shooting until you get some sort of reaction or you make the better composition. So, shot from Vincent. Um, these are his three assignment uh, photos where he's just trying to simplify. So what I really like about the first shot, Vincent, is I kind of love the film noir feeling, this strong diagonal in the background, the, the horizontal lines here, as well as the cigarette and I love the fact that his eyes are obscured in the dark. It kind of gives it that L.A. film noir feeling. It's, it's, it's quite a strong image. Uh, second shot. I really love the strong yellow against the, the blue shades. The thing which could have made this a stronger shot is if you actually caught a moment where the, maybe they're both looking at each other because they're both looking away. So I don't really see some interaction here. And the last shot, quite interesting. A uh, very low angle shot. I actually really like this strong blue against this green that's pointing to him, and you know the the coat just popping out. The, the distraction I find is I don't really think this adds to the scene, and I mean this is kind of not fair, but I kind of get the sense that you just shot this from the hip, aka you just shot without looking viewfinder or having it really low. So the composition doesn't seem very intentional. What I might just do next time is just to, I don't know how you shot it, but trying to get stronger verticals here, maybe get more of this building here, a little bit less on the bottom of the frame and uh, try not to get this element. So um, Vincent also showed the example of how he's working the scene, how he tried to simplify. And yeah, you can see very good job fill in the frame, getting all these guys in a bo uh, in a line rather than shooting super far away. So I know it's a really hard assignment, but that's the point, right? So these are photos uh, from Baoli. Sorry, I'm totally ruining your name. So love the first shot, just this. Man, this guy got a lot of airtime. I love the, the black silhouette against the white. Just really nice, clear separation. It's just very clear and abstract. I, I really like this one. I feel like the second shot isn't as successful. Perhaps because I don't see enough of the buildings above the, the scene. I kind of do like the light around the woman and, you know, the, the streams of water here. To me, the, the sidewalk doesn't add too much. So what I might have done is either shot up really high angle looking down or just crouching down more, getting her against the sky or something like that. I think the last shot is probably not as strong as other shots because there's a little bit too much overlap with the subjects and there's too much clutter. I think, yeah, by far this is your strongest shot than this is your second strongest shot. So Ed, <laughs> love this shot, just the intimacy, the closeness, this hand gesture, the phone. Nice simple background, the eye contact's good. Because it looks like you're a pretty tall guy, 
Next time, just crouch on a little bit lower. And even if you could have got a few shots shot head on to just have this is the entire background instead of this on the right side. And this shot, it's pretty good too. I like the expression, the gesture. Once again, I think your, sh your shot could have been improved if you just crouch down a little more. Maybe put more of his head inside this uh, white sky here and also something that's always hard to see, but try not to get the heads uh, overlapped. That's pretty trippy, <laughs> this this head here, but you can see the background is just a little bit messier cluttered. Just keep crouching down a little more and I think I'll make your shot stronger. So now and all, so good job of working this scene. Yeah, so you can see you did a good job. Here there's too much clutter and you're shooting too low. Here the interaction is getting better and I actually liked it how you stood up a little bit more to get more of the flags in the background. And these guys here, what I might have tried to do next time, actually, I mean, this is good that you're crouching down, you're getting that interesting low angle, but I think this shot could actually have been better if you shot standing up a little higher to shoot more head on, to put their heads on the more of the bottom frame and put these guys on the top of the frame. All right, so Elado. Oh, nice. Looks like you shot these with film. Nice minimalist feel. I like the, the storytelling, this woman here, just the nice sky, the colors and these uh, birds in the sky. I think there's just a little bit too much clutter here on the bottom of the frame. I could have tried to maybe take a step back to get more of the birds, but yeah, the atmosphere, the mood, the simplicity, it's, it's really lovely. All right, so um, Car is, sorry, I'm totally butchering your name. All right, oh, good job working the scene. So <laughs> shot from further away, you can see a lot of clutter, getting closer. And yeah, this is the shot where you kind of have this kid you know, just looking over. I love the the cherry on top of the the little smiley faces. Him looking over. That's that's really lovely. That's that's a, that's a great shot. I quite like this too. How you're subtracting the faces to make it a little more interesting with the dress. But what you could have tried to do next time is try to get the whole dress a little bit more left and watch out for these overlaps here. So actually, this one <laughs> is a nice moment here. The thing you always want to be careful of when trying to simplify the scene is having these random poles stick out of the back. So what you could have done is taken a few more steps to the left and shot more head on this way to try to separate the pole from his back to be a little bit more to the side. But yeah, I've, I've been there. I know the feeling of this guy as well. So uh, Hughes, interesting. So to see you working this scene. so. Sometimes the hard thing is you're shooting in certain situations where it's harder to get a cleaner shot. I mean, out of all the shots, probably this is the cleanest shot because you have this guy in this coat filling in the background. But in all these situations, there's just a little bit too much going on. I mean, I like I like the I like the look of this uh, this woman. I like her white skin, her strong lipstick, very graphical. Here, maybe to darken the background, if you shot this with a flash, it could have helped. Or even if you crouched on even lower than her and shot her against the sky to get a simpler background. Um, all right, snap mode. And, okay. Yeah, good job working the scene here. So one thing that you did really well here snap mode is, you know, I've shot in Mumbai, uh, in Bombay as well. And, and this is just almost everywhere in the world. There's just so much clutter. So, you know, you're obviously starting up with a more clutter scene see more clutter but then yeah I really like your last shot because it's to me it's more it's less about just like photographing like I guess um, you know homeless people or people down at the luck it's more about maybe a stronger social statement I mean I love the the pattern in his uh, his outfit all the trash and then the irony where in the background says health heritage happiness it's almost like something I'd see in some like Great Depression eras, America. And for those of you guys who are watching who don't know much about Mumbai, it's one of the wealthiest, most expensive cities to live in in India and also in the world. I think the per square meter um, cost of um, of houses in Mumbai is actually more expensive than New York City. So to see uh, social inequality like this still makes me really uh, sad. And, but yeah, so what I like about the shot is I think it was done in a very, uh, perhaps mindful and socially conscious way. So Vicky, been loving your critiques and your feedback. Is it sharing? <laughs> yeah, so just nice, simple, clean. I like the green, the background. 
this chair here quite like that shot yeah then here it's interesting to see how you work the scene trying to get the hands but yeah i think ultimately your last shot is the best because i think the best photos are where you look at it and you're like what the what the what the hell am i looking at you know and so to see the the teeth here the eyes the nose it's just very surreal and i i i love that um Oh, good suggestion, Jeff, to maybe even like simplify even more. Just get the eye, the nose, and the teeth, huh? Yeah, you guys are doing good. Good job. All right, so I think this is Ryan working the scene. Yeah, here, not really looking at anything. Here gets better because you know actually the composition here is pretty good. You got the kid in the foreground. You got the burger kid here. The woman here, nice hand gesture, arm curved here. This guy in the background walking this way. In terms of composition, this is actually pretty good. And uh, this scene is definitely the most simple. You know, you got this nice young hipster couple, like nice um, colors, good expression in their head, nice clean background. Funny enough though, I would actually say in terms of the composition, I actually prefer this composition the most, purely for this guy, this kid looking here, grabbing the table. There's a nice circular composition here. There's depth, kid in the background, make eye contact, woman looking down here, this guy walking here and all the different colors. It's, yeah, good job working the, the scene. All right, so hopefully your your travels have been going le uh, good, Lisa. Good to have you. So interesting. So shooting a little bit further away, it was a little far for me. Getting closer, good job. You got this nice lady laughing, this kid here. Actually, okay, so here it's a little more simple. But, you know, actually, I think this shot's my favorite because it just feels more natural. I like this shoe here. I like the lady laughing and just looking off to the side. It's so funny. All these laughing ladies look the same to me. So I have my, <laughs> this is pretty good. Uh, laughing lady, Eric Kim. All these laughing ladies look the same. It's it's pretty awesome. So I'm looking at this, uh, oops, looking at this lady laughing. And actually this lady, she kind of reminds me of my laughing lady that I photographed in Hanoi. Purely, and then this is the funny thing with photography too, is that the more you look at photos, the more you kind of see certain photos or scenes repeating themselves. And even purely from the, the angle of which the woman's looking at it, just, I think there needs to be more photos in the world where people are just kind of smiling and laughing in a good mood. Yeah, that's actually, it's actually pretty funny. <laughs> the head angle is almost the same. It's, it's pretty uncanny. And then you also got my, um, laughing lady in New York City that's that's fantastic yeah anyway so I prefer that one over this one it's, uh, the last one is a little bit too simple all right so Jeff um, hmm I like I like how you're narrating so identifying the scene so you have a nice simple clean black background crouching down to get rid of some of the background noise and then simplified yeah so this is actually pretty cool to you work this scene because now you have a totally pitch black background. What you could do is, let's say if you um, you played with uh, this image in uh, in terms of the, the post processing. What would be interesting to me too is in terms of the post processing, So you have a nice simple black background, but this shape here is actually quite like surrealist. Uh, and the way you could perhaps play with that is lower the, the exposure and maybe boost the shadows a little bit. So I'm lowering the midtones right now. So yeah, even even something like that would be pretty cool. So now you could see the stronger shape here, the shape here, and you know, you could see her, her eyes. Yeah. Then, then, then the, the colors and the lightness and the tones become very, very interesting. Unfortunately, the thing that kind of kills it for me in this shot is 
this shoulder strap here is a little bit too bright and distracting, but yeah, just uh, I'll just play with the post processing a little bit. But yeah, you can see how how good it is that you work the scene to get this um, this superb image. All right, so Lisa. Oh, hopefully you enjoyed seeing Rip. Okay, so seeing you work the scene. So first, the uh, the monk interacting with the kid, and the monk posing. Oh, then you got him laughing. Yep, that's the shot. <laughs> oh man, I love that. I just like can't even see his teeth and the the hand here, the context here. Yeah, that's that's a great moment. And the pink against. The, yeah, and you have a really good idea. You have a really good eye for colors. And also, the background is quite simple too, and I actually quite like the the diagonal composition of the frame. This is yeah, it's yeah, you're good. You're a good girl. And uh, oh, thank you for giving us a, a shout out to your latest blog post. So. People check out lizadorenfest.com. Yeah, cool. Ooh, I know you're a sailor too. Oh, 3,500 N, uh, I don't even know what NM is. 25 country, all right, keep the cool stuff. You are my hero. Um, okay, so El Lado. I quite, okay, so let's see. How you're working this in. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, really good job here. So you kind of identified the scene here. It's pretty good that I like the shallow here and this guy here, but waiting until this guy came in the foreground to have him in the foreground, him in the mid that in the background, and the golden dragon gifts on top, that's the chair on top. Really good shot. All right, so um, Helio. Okay, interesting. Oh, good job, yeah. First you get a nice shot of the city. It's like, oh, that's nice, but everyone shot it. Here it gets a little more abstract and interesting. I haven't seen this before. And then you have this woman here overlooked and all this nice shadow, her shoulders, her neck, and then against the city, yeah, that's that's the shot. Good job working the scene. What I, would, what I do next time maybe is just frame it a little bit lower. You don't need this much sky, just shoot it here and have a little bit more on the bottom of the frame. So imagine almost like if you shot, got that much more on the bottom of the frame, down here, nice. All right, Mark, here are my 50 cents. Just like the rapper. All right, so let me just take a look. All right, so you got the scene here. This guy's cooking the hot dogs. He took a step to the left and took a step closer to make a cl cleaner. I think um, I think you did good, Mark. But what you just needed to do is just get a little bit closer. So. Maybe if you stood here and you crouch on very low and you made the, the angle so the hot dog is all the way in the bottom of the frame, his all the way in the top of the frame and shoot it vertical. So here, I think you could have just pushed yourself a little further to um, be a little more aggressive to get a little more edgy angle. So just try to get a little bit closer and maybe work the, the angles a little bit more. So Mezzo, good to have you again too. Uh, or Antonio. Okay. Interesting, cool. So. Yeah, I like how you got this nice vantage point looking down. I love all the geometry and looking over. And then uh, and then zooming in. Yeah, this composition here is very nice. This guy crossing the street. And this one here with the bags, I guess this is a little more interesting. I think maybe next time just wait a little bit longer and find a more interesting subject. I think the exposure here looks a little bit nice and brighter. The graphically it looks a lot better with the lines. Um, the, the gravel on the bottom of the frame and as well as the, the textures in the ground. Maybe next time just wait a little bit longer for somebody who looks a little more interesting. All right, Tom, good to have you. K-Town, New York, gotta love it. Oh, interesting, okay, so you, okay, so this is a pretty good setup where you got the FedEx, the spa, and you got <laughs> Tout Jour in the background uh, with this nice depth. Random story, you got our wedding cake at Tout Les Jours for like 20 bucks. Uh, and then the first scene is pretty good. You got people in the foreground. This taxi that looks like it's about to hit this guy. The second scene gets a little more interesting is that you have more dark shadowy figure and then you have this big ass truck that's about to hit this guy. The last scene, uh, then this guy comes out, which is interesting. But oh, man, the perfect shot could have been like <laughs> a combination of this shot and this shot where you have this figure with the hood on the bottom of the frame. But sometimes you gotta be more patient. Sometimes you just get lucky. Sometimes you're unlucky. There's nothing you can really do about it, but 
Good job working this scene. Just uh, maybe just keep going back to that spot, Tom, and just keep uh, keep working it. All right, so Marcin. All right, so good job trying to subtract. Yeah, unfortunately, just a little bit too far. I don't know what I'm really looking at. This shot is better. I like this frame under the frame here, but once again, the subjects are a little bit too small to see here. I just had to wait for them to get closer to you or something. All right, so LTV. So you start off from the back. Ah, okay. <laughs> and then, yeah, you stopped him and you saw the tattoo. Yeah, because that's, that's, that's what you're trying to get. Man, this guy's like legs are pretty veiny slash buff. That's pretty cool. This last shot looks a little bit blurry. I think this one is a little more sharper. But yeah, but good job stopping him. What you can do next time actually is have him put his leg against this brick wall here. So you just have this leg against this and against the brick wall. It'd be a lot stronger. But yeah, good job stopping him. All right, so Max, uh, Merkel, good name. <laughs> this is pretty, that is an awesome shirt. Oh, I played so much Super Nintendo, Super Mario growing up. It's got the Japanese version too. Um, yeah, good job stalking him, interacting with him. Huh. Yeah, I kind of like how you stopped him when you were interacting with him. Actually, the, I think the first shot is the best because him looking down and then him crossing the street. And also, fortunately, here the background's pretty clean. And then you have this walking sign here. And here you could just yeah see it a little better. Here, everything's a little too blown out. And then here you can't really see the Super Mario as well. Um, yeah, but that's probably the best shot. All right, so in terms of my favorite shot for this week so first of all i'm just really happy with everything you guys have done with the forum i mean to be purely uh truly honest like cindy and i are just always working always tired and hustling and trying to help out as much as possible and it's really a labor of love and so to see you guys helping each other out and being so enthusiastic on the forum it's it makes me really happy because you know there's not really that many supportive helpful places on the internet where you could interact have a supportive community and uh yeah share your passion for photography so i'm just kind of scanning through all the images and in terms of and uh in terms of my thinking process i'm trying to think about who i think did a best job at simplifying and also what my favorite shots were individual okay so I would say, yeah, I think I think Lisa, you've done it again. <laughs> I just love how, yeah, because it's, to shoot street photography in a touristy place is hard because you kind of tend to get these kind of photos, like nice moments here, like monk interacting with a kid tourist, and, you know, putting on a bracelet or whatever, but it's kind of a bit boring. And then you kind of get this kind of shot, you know, nice, nice him posing is pleasant. But then the fact that you're able to get him laughing, the fact you can't see his teeth, his eyes closed, head turned back. I think more people just need to photograph people laughing, the hand on the chest. And also the fact that you tilt to the frame a little bit to make the frame more engaging. And then just the colors of the background, I think it's my favorite. And actually my second favorite is um, El Lotto. I actually really like what you did where you spotted a good scene and you, this is interesting. Well, maybe you're just jumping the gun a bit, but you've done a good job layering here where in a sense that you've added him to the frame, but it simplifies it because you add somebody in the foreground, middle ground here, and the silhouette looking left, and then you have the statue and the light, and also the golden dragon gifts on top is um, cherry on top. Also, Helio, I, I quite liked what you did was, yeah, you really took it from a touristy shot to something a little more abstract, to something a little more emotional with humans. Generally, as a tip, having humans is a good thing. Also, good job, Jeff. Getting closer, interacting with her, and then just getting all the black in the background. That was, that was really good. Also, you too, Lisa, getting your feet wet in this shot too. Getting closer, getting the la laughing shot. Ryan, you working the scene here, working your way around. And you can really see it's nice. The more you work a scene, the more photos you'll make of the scene from different angles, and then you could choose. Um, the scene according to what you like and 
Yeah, and also, yeah, like Vincent, good job getting closer to these, like, guys. I mean, it looks like I would have been a little bit nervous to shoot this. Like, this guy might beat me up or something like that. So, good job getting closer. Yeah, so, everyone, you guys did a really good job. Um, for next, so, for you guys watching, just check out, just Google, like, Eric Kim Forum. And we really made um, the forum as a, a home for you guys to, you know, share your instagrams for you to upload images to keep or ditch if, in case you don't know what your best shots are just click you log in or join you can sign up click agree to the terms and just give us your credit card number i'm just kidding <laughs> um and yeah the the form is constantly changing evolving cindy's adding this new oh cindy the the keep ditching is working pretty well yeah. a lot of people are doing it so you could if you want to click a new topic click this and you could click the category keep or ditch Cindy's created this new UI where you could actually take a look at people's photos, whether you want to keep or ditch it, and then you could either rate it, keep it by ranking it up or rating down, ditching it. And I don't know about you, but generally with a lot of my photos, I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, so I'd probably ditch this photo. Let's see if it doesn't work here. Mm, sorry, we're still trying to figure out the UI. We might have to do it from oh sorry we're actually we're actually not logged in sorry <laughs> that's why it's not working all right but anyways um yeah you could come here ask questions about you know click equipment ask questions about gear or you know ask questions about photography uh ask for uh photo critiques just talk about anything that's on your mind and it's 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 really this very cool uh home and forum so i'd uh, love to have you guys there thank you so much for watching guys peace out.